this session is a continuation of the previous one that was suck structures now we'll be seeing up uh, using structures in different ways a nested structure structure within a structure is called as nested structure when we place a structure in another structure we call it as nested structure now syntax a structure we need place some other and another structure out of it so in your type of program in this way will be placing a structure in another structure as you can see the address which is of structure is available in another structure emp this is called as nested structure let's take up a small a program rather not a small one but this time a pretty big one struct address in which i place character city 10 character district 10 state 5 and integer pin code another structure emp in which i place character name of 10 int age and salary or type integer structure address a this structure is the entire representation of this one which is placed in there now when in main when i say structure emp2 this is the array of this structure instance an array has been created so int i is 10 beginning i mean i takes 0 and is less than or equal to 1 enter person d employee's name age and all those things likewise the values what all i say will be displayed in that particular blocks enter city and district all those things will be displayed here finally this for block will print all the things on the screen so if i execute the program that will be in this way zero block employee name age and salary let it be kiran and 25 and 10000 city hyderabad district rangareddy rr district and state is ap andhra pradesh and pin code 500063 another employee this time may let it be kumar whose age is again let it be 26 and 11000 and uh, rr district rr district and this again be ap Five triple zero six two, and the other is now you can see the entire information. Kiran, whose age is twenty-five, ten thousand as salary, Hyderabad city district, and AP pin code. The other employee. Uh, Kumar twenty six and eleven thousand and all those things will be displayed on the screen. So by using structures, we can go for displaying all these things or accepting information from the user. So this is how structure nested structures programming is done. After that. passing structure to a function we'll go for an example first of all comparing it to normal variables void main before that i'll go for the prototype void function which takes an integer this is the prototype and in main and i say integer i which holds consider 3 or let me scan it scan f Person D comma ampersand I, and I'll pass it to the function. So 
so in the function void function which receives j so now when i say print f percent d comma j the value what i say five is displayed in the function to prove that i can say function and the value what i enter in function five similarly if i create a structure with name demo in which i place an integer variable a and a float variable f and similarly this time function which doesn't receive integer it receives demo and not i this time it is demo i demo variable di so di's dot i comma ampersand di dot f ampersand di percent f so pass both pass di and demo variable dj receives it now when i say percent d and percent f dj dot i comma dj dot f now 1 and 2.2 so it displays in function 1 and 2.2 similarly this is very much close to the normal function we used till now passing structure to a function is one i said now type def data type type def data type new data type type def so it is kind of a hash include stdio dot h and okay then type def int i n t e g integer now when i say in main instead of saying integer i can say integer i which takes 10 and if i say print f percent d comma i it will be printing what 10 holds that is what i holds that is 10 for this sake we use type def it is a representation or a substitution for the variables types unions it is also a derived data type like structure unions are to group a number of different data types of variables the keyword or unions is union union is quite similar to the structure as we said as you said union demo integer i float f so similarly demo d d dot i d dot f so this is how we can create unions which are very similar to structures example union emp integer e no character name and float salary difference between structures and unions union will occupy the memory space for the highest bytes of data variable for the above example the system will reserve 10 bytes of memory while the case of structures the system receives 16 bytes of memory by using unions we can optimize the memory as well so these are the differences and something about structures and unions which we have seen